Well, the CDC updated its guidance on testing to go back to school or work today after the new five-day isolation rule. As medical reporter Liz Bonus explains, the organization says it's trying to minimize risk when people are the most contagious to others. Hey there, everybody. Hello to you. The CDC backed its previous advice for a five-day quarantine after being diagnosed with this virus and no test needed. When you do choose to return to those daily activities, here's what you need to know. The CDC did add you could take a rapid antigen test if you want to take one after five days to see if you're still positive, but it's not requiring it. The CDC added an explanation to its website saying here's why it made this decision. It reviewed 113 studies from 17 countries. Researchers found that most transmission occurs early in the course of infection. Researchers also found the average period for when you are infectious and risk transmitting the virus to others is between two to three days before and eight days after symptom onset. So it's really about this. If you must go back to work, we want to make sure you're not contagious to someone else because the more people who get sick, the more people who get sick. It is not recommended at five days after you take the kind of test that gets sent to a lab called a PCR test because those can stay positive for two to three weeks, even a few months, because we're still clearing the virus from our body, even when we're not contagious. Now, testing or not, after those five days, it's still suggested you wear a mask and you may choose to stay away from those who are at high risk for getting seriously ill from this virus, just more as a precaution. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. We'll throw it back to you.